Hello and good morning. It's a Monday and um, Monday morning, if you cannot feel the vibe. I am Nicole LeBros and I'm going to take you with me on my week, if that makes sense. Probably nothing I say right now will make sense because I have not had coffee. Son of a Milk me. That did not sound right. Wow. <laughs> May I have some milk, please? <laughs> this week, I'm going to be doing some DIY stuff. Finally. I feel like I've been talking about DIY things in this apartment since December of last year. Just trying to get like a feel on like how we can make things more accessible, better around our apartment. So we're going to get ready really fast together and I'll explain to you then with makeup stuff that what we're doing this week. All right guys, so if you watched my last video, which you probably haven't, that's okay. If you haven't, go check it out. You don't have to check it out now. You can watch this one. Um, I'll just give you a little tidbit on what I covered in that video. I talked about how I'm going to be putting in, putting up shelves on the wall and how um, much I love these like particular shelves and everything and I'm not going to go with those shelves anymore. As we were about to order them, we realized that there was some other floating shelves that we could basically just stack on top of each other just like how the original ones were. I'm really bad at explaining things a lot of the time, so I'm, I will put in visuals <laughs> for you guys. Yeah, so we found a way to like hack, hack it in a way. We decided that we found a cheaper way to do the shelving and a way that we actually kind of like better because what we're going for is like light and airy bookshelves. We don't want like a big clunk of a thing sitting on the floor. It has to be super easy to clean. I want it off of the ground. And so that's what we're getting, are these beautiful floating shelves. And they come tomorrow. So today, I have to completely prep the wall for that because this wall <laughs> has seen some days. It, it's been through a little bit of everything. Um, I mentioned in my last video that the office will hopefully one day in the future um, become a baby nursery. Uh, so yeah, but for now, until the time comes, for now it is still an office. So we are bridging the gap of these shelves need to work for for the current office as well as a future nursery. I am going to be linking in the description box below all of my makeup products that I'm using here that you are seeing right now in case you are curious. Cool. So. Uh, yeah, so hardware store, we're getting stuff done. We're gonna get this wall sanded done and prepped. Um, <laughs> help me, please. Help me, Lord. This is the most Monday of all Mondays in a hot minute. We're back. And we're gonna do a haul. We have two face masks. If you're sanding down a wall, you definitely don't want to breathe that stuff in. My father is going to be very proud. I got a level. I'm pretty, pretty proud. It's like you get to a point when you're an adult and you don't get excited about the things that you did as a teenager. You get excited about getting a level. I got a wall putty to fill in the holes and the nicks and the crannies and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to do this. This is my most favorite part about DIY spackle tool. And this is the Hardy brand, which I've never heard of, but it looks hardy. Um, we got some sandpaper stuff. This is like a, a bit weird of a sandpaper, but the hardware store told us that this is ideal for walls, like sanding down the wall. And they're a bit reusable, like you don't gotta constantly throw them out. I got a roller 
Now to talk about the walls as I'm showing you this stuff. Uh, we have brick walls, um, which is very common in Hungary. I don't know if for the rest of Europe, but it's a very Hungarian thing to have a brick home, brick apartment, all the walls are brick. I don't know, I'm just so used to, even apartments in America, like multiple story apartments have drywall. And yes, it would go up in flames very fast, but <laughs> it's so much easier to DIY a drywall. We don't have it yet. We do have to get it probably tomorrow, a brick drill because normal drills don't work in our walls. Moving on, I got some hand brushes for the corners and everything. And last but not least, we got our handy dandy sander holders. They look like this. We got two of them. I think my approach with this, this is the wall I'm talking about, by the way. Here she is. I'm thinking about actually washing it down first, or maybe not. Let's think, Nicole. Thinking time. Sand the wall down. No, that would not make sense because I have to sand it down anyway after I putty. I'm literally just watching a pigeon walk on the roof and not thinking any thoughts. Okay, so I think that I'm going to wash the wall down first because it's super grimy. Wait for it to dry and then I'm going to putty. Then I'm gonna get to painting the wall white again because actually that brings me back. Every room in this apartment has been painted a fresh coat of white, I want to say like maybe five or six years ago, maybe seven years ago, something like that. Within the past decade, every room in the house has been repainted white. What is this pigeon doing? You're distracting me, sir. Just flapping his wings around. Just standing there flapping. Oh, I see he's trying to... Okay, yeah, never mind. That's not. There's another pigeon involved if that's what you need to know. So this room <laughs> has not been painted white. It has not. This is the only room that has not gotten a fresh coat. Unfortunately, you can really tell that because up in the corners here, I do not know if it will show up in the video, so just bear with me here. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see all the gray stuff that is like exhaust pollution, whatever you want to call it, it's there. blotchy because it's still wet in some places. As I wait for this to dry, I'm going to paint tape. some issues focusing because it's just a big white wall the camera doesn't really know what it wants to look at <laughs> so I'm sorry for the blurriness um, these little bluish spots are actually old museum putty known as blue tag sometimes when blue tag gets really old or it's been on the wall for way too long it leaves a kind of grease stain I think I have uh, one two three and four more holes to spackle. Go time.
Good evening, everyone. It is the end of our Monday. We got pretty far. We didn't get as far as I thought we would, but I feel like that's just in the nature of DIY. You always bite off more than you can chew. So here is our wall. And she is looking so much cleaner and brighter. And here you can actually tell the color difference way more than on the other side for some reason. So I have just from up here down to here and then up to there painted. Thank you for being a part of this first segment of the vlog and I hope you stick around for the final reveal. Hey, it's Tuesday and it's another rainy one, which we love here. It's giving autumn. <laughs> it's not giving almost summer. I know most of you are probably over the rain by now, but I just want more of it. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm in Washington state and everything's rainy all the time and there's moss everywhere and I'm just in my coziest sweater. I just always want to be in a sweater, which leads me to the Nettlewool sweater that I'm wearing. Oh, look at my braids. I'm like Pippi Longstocking. Today's vlog is going to be pretty short compared to yesterday and it's definitely going to be shorter than what it will be tomorrow. So um, today we are basically just waiting on the IKEA package to arrive. I believe we got four shelves. The other thing I'm doing today is I am going to be sanding the wall down and painting it. This paint dries so fast. It's matte paint. Yeah, I'm just going to be enjoying this rainy day as much as possible. You can't hear it, of course, for copyright reasons in the first vlog, but I've been listening to celebrity ghost stories on Disney Plus. And I used to watch that show as a kid. They only have seasons five and six on Disney Plus, but it is so funny and just, it makes you feel like you're around a bonfire and you're just hearing like all of these very clearly make-believe stories like I do believe in the other stuff out there that is still unexplained but like yeah these stories like I don't believe a word coming out of these celebrities mouths <laughs> so it's great fun I do recommend watching that show if you want a classic spooky vibe drying right now and I'm sweaty and um, I have the window open or the fan going and yeah that's I can't believe it's almost done I just have to wait for it to dry and take the tape off and that's it for today um, we're still waiting on the, the shelves I don't know why I couldn't think of that word <laughs> the shelves to arrive Whenever I'm waiting on a package, I feel like Kramer in that episode of Seinfeld where he's like really waiting for his package and if you know, you know, but <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we're waiting on that. There's not much to assemble there. Uh, I think I'll open up one of the boxes and show it on camera just to get a sneak peek to see if there is any major assembly involved, but I'm pretty sure that the assembly is gonna happen tomorrow. And yeah, that was quite a workout. It was a lot of fun. And I'll be back to take the tape off. got a lot of stuff done but we're not able to complete our project today because um well it's a mistake on our part but we spent a lot of time trying to pick out a masonry drill and we didn't realize until we got home that uh it doesn't come with a battery even though it says it in two different forms that it doesn't come with the battery. We focused on the battery image and we thought that it just came with the battery. So really take your time, even if you think you're taking your time, looking and reading and checking, take even longer. We got masonry drill bits, we got a whole lot of stuff. And yeah, so we're kind of at a standstill right now, unfortunately, but we have a lot of other work to get done, don't we, Danny? Like we're gonna be working all day, basically. Um, so I guess we have more time to work today now that the plans have halted here. These are the shelves and I love the tones of the wood. I love the neutralness of it. On the website, it looked a lot darker, but I'm actually very pleased at how much lighter they are in person. We have three of them here and then we have one here unwrapped and you can see that the veneer is actually really nice and very wood-like from afar. It's a trick of the eye. It's not real wood. It's actually just particle board and MDF board because it's Ikea and that's what they do. We basically have everything mapped out. So we found the true middle of the wall um, because we're measuring it from the edge of the light switch to the edge of the wall and then the topmost shelf is going to be flush with the top of the door frame that's just a design choice that i made because i want it to look balanced um and the best way i think to do that is to have it all level like i said we're at a standstill we did our best <laughs> these things happen all the time with home DIY and uh, yeah like I said we have a bunch of work to get caught up on and so maybe it was just meant to be that we have all this other work that we need to focus on and we just need to push the shelf project a day or two later. So that's it for today and I'll see you in the next vlog.
somebody getting a treat. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Pachi, Pachi, Pachi. <laughs> He's like, I'm giving you both Pachis. What you gotta say to the people? Huh? What you gotta say to the people? happier with the finished result it is exactly what we were looking for it's light and airy and there's a few things on the ground still but it's not like how it was uh, right now we have a little rug right here but maybe next week or in a few weeks from now we're going to get just those basic IKEA storage boxes like the cardboard ones with the chevron pattern on them you know what I'm talking about everybody has them <laughs> and uh, we're going to put in the leftover books in there because we did not put in the fourth shelf. Our fourth shelf is here, propped up against the wall. Now you might be asking, why is it propped up against the wall? Um, it is for, once again, future nursery thinking. Um, if we were to put a fourth shelf in the spacing that we had, which was, by the way, 40 centimeters apart, um, that would have been prime baby head area <laughs> and this would not be safe whatsoever for a child's room. So we are instead going to hold on to that shelf and just kind of experiment with what we're going to use it for. Um, my best bet is that it's probably going to go over like a changing table of some sorts. But anyway, that's like, once again, that's like a future thing. What we're doing is living in the now, and now there are beautiful office shelves, and yeah, we're just loving it so much. These are our favorite books, our favorite art books. All the other books that are going to be going into the boxes are good books. They're just not books that we access all the time, not the best books, but still books that we want to hold on to. Once again, just to reiterate, like I always do, <laughs> I'm super happy and I hope you're happy and I hope you like this video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking it. And yeah, also in the comments, tell me what you think. I would greatly appreciate it. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.